Hold on to your butts. These are the Squashbuckler Diaries. Welcome back. My name is Guy Hasson, and you're listening to the Squash Buckley Diaries podcast, the daily epic fantasy podcast about Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. We follow her from birth to death. And today, not just today, but today is summer vacation uh, in the Northern Hemisphere. And uh, uh, I have two kids at home and no time to record this. So I'm using the time I have when they're watching television to record this. So let's do it quickly, quickly, quickly. You know, that's the life. Just sharing that with you. And um, so we have Joy Shelley, four and a half years old, the future heroine, stuck in the dream inside a huge forest in the land of the giants. It's a huge, huge freaking forest. And she can't be seen. She's smaller than a grass blade at four and a half. And she's hurt and badly wounded and sitting right now, as you know, on top of the highest leaf in the forest, or the highest leaf of that tree in the forest. And her father, what or oh what do you as the father do? If you have a flying pirate ship, if you have the power of a dreamer, but you can't make the forest disappear, what do you do if you can't find your young daughter and without you she will die (sighs) oh boy let's find out episode 190 in the land of the giants part seven dad versus the giants joy's age four and a half told by the red dragon the ground in the forest of the giants shook dragon lil sitting on a leaf at the top of a tree in the forest almost lost her balance. She looked around and held tight to the edges of the leaf. It's been hours since she'd woken up in pain. Most of her body blew from being swatted by a giant. It's been five hours since her father appeared, only to disappear down into the forest to look for her. She had been waiting for a long time. But looking up at the possible danger, her eyes were as sharp and ready as if she had just begun her day. The ground shook again and again, and then a giant was hurled from the depths of the farther part of the forest, past the treetops and into the air. He flipped around in the air helplessly, then collapsed back into the trees. The ground shook when he landed. Now, Dragonfather rose above the trees, engulfed in a flying metal exoskeleton, with arms as big as a giant's. The arms of the exoskeleton reached into the forest and raised the giant into the air. Tell me where Joy is, his voice boomed through the dream. I, I don't know, the giant whimpered. Tell me, Dragonfather's voice boomed again and his exoskeleton shook the giant this way and that. Dragon Lil smiled. Go, Daddy, go, she whispered. Dragonfather soon gave up on the giant. He threw him into the air and backwards. While still in the air, while whimpering, the giant disappeared as if he had never been there. The exoskeleton reached down through the woods and picked up another giant. I know where the girl is, the giant said after he'd been hurled sideways a few times. Dragonlil stood up. Tell me! Dragonfather had never been as serious and angry as he was now. There, she's over there! The giant, hanging upside down, pointed at a faraway spot, not at all in Dragon Lil's direction. Under the grey rock! Dragonfather flew in the direction the giant had shown him, carrying the giant with him. Dad, I'm here, Dad! But Dragonfather, of course, did not hear her. He disappeared into the forest, and Dragon Lil could not see him. Dad! She shouted again, but with less force. She sat back down. Dad, she said softly, I'm... Thirsty, I'm hungry. And she waited. And she waited. Tomorrow I will tell you what happened next. Told by the Red Dragon. Hashtags Joy, Justin, Joy Alone, the Land of the Giants. 
So, a dreamer is not all powerful. He can't find her and the giant can't tell him where joy is because he created the giant and he doesn't know. He needs to find her quickly. She is hungry and thirsty and she hasn't drank all day and she's hurt and wounded. And as we saw last time, he had told her to find the high spot or spot where uh, she's easy to see and wait for him until he finds her. Except that in the forest of the giants, that's almost impossible. What will happen next? What will he do next? What will she do next? How will they survive? How will she survive? He's fine. He can wake up any time. But he needs his daughter to survive. So, more to more. And we did it. No interruptions. Yay, TV. <laughs> and now, the credits. The Squashbuckler Diaries are written and read by me, Guy Hassan. All the tags mentioned in this story are searchable at the website. You can find all the stories there in written form and in fact 150 Squashbuckler Diaries more. The Squashbuckler Diaries is the diary of Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. She'll be called the Forgotten Girl by her father. She'll be a true heroine. She'll change the world. This project shows her entire life from birth to death. Check out the website at guyhasson.com. That's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N.com. I've been an author and playwright for more than 30 years, and this is the first time I've used the guyhasson.com website because The Girl in the Dream is my life project. If you have questions, if you want to comment, please do. You can comment at the website or email me at guyhasson at gmail.com. That's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N, G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N, at gmail.com. The theme music is called Brass Gentleman and is created by Thomas Harudek. My name is Guy Hasson, and this is my life project. Come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow for more. Thank <laughs> you.